My least favorite part of making YouTube videos is asking people to like and subscribe. However, if you don't, well, people don't like or subscribe. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I created this like and subscribe asset that I use rather than begging people for likes and subscriptions. And don't worry, I'll also show you how to properly add it to your project. Links for all the assets used, including the final results, will be included in the description below. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm in DaVinci Resolve, and I have all of my assets in a brand new project. So the assets are a subscribe image, a subscribed image, the like icon non-selected, the like icon selected, a mouse cursor, and then some mouse clicks. First thing I'm gonna do is save this project as like and sub demo. You can name it whatever you desire. And I'm gonna come over to the edit tab. If you do not have the media pool and effects toolbar open, go ahead and expand them and we will come down to generators and grab in solid color and bring this into video one. Go ahead and select the solid color asset and come to the inspector and select color and go ahead and make it white. Shortcut for that is HTML pound FFF FFF. That's six Fs. Click OK. We could go ahead and close the effects toolbar and go ahead and bring in the like icon. And just to keep our toolbar clean, I'm just gonna condense everything. And then go ahead and bring in the subscribe icon. So now we just need to position these in a good spot. So for the like icon, I'm gonna adjust the zoom to 0.28 because that will get me somewhere you know, just a little bit smaller than the subscribe button, which looks good. So I will position these something like so. Now, if you have a logo for your channel, you could go ahead and put that asset over here to have a little bit more customization for your videos. Now I'm going to bring in the mouse asset and I'm gonna shrink this to 0.25 and just drag it somewhere over the like icon and then dra drop, <laughs> drop the Y axis way down to about negative 400, somewhere around here. So when we actually put this into a video, we're going to apply a mask over this asset. So the mouse still being visible here is not a big deal. So go ahead and make sure your mouse asset is selected and you're at the beginning of the timeline and go ahead and make a keyframe or mark a keyframe at the position intersection. Then I'm gonna come into about a second into the scene and I'm gonna click a keyframe on the position intersection again and I'm going to increase the Y axis until the mouse pointer is on top of the like icon. So this may be a little bit choppy because sometimes DaVinci Resolve with images and positions can be a little bit choppy. Um, I'm also on Windows 11 with an AMD processor which has some known issues so it may be a little bit choppy but this is what we have so far. Ooh, nothing too exciting. So I'm gonna come back to this mouse uh, icon and now we really need to mimic a click. Uh, so to do this and make sure everything is in time with the sound, you're gonna go ahead and actually drag in your sound asset now. And go ahead and expand your audio channel so that you could see the sound waves. So if you're using the same asset as me, you should see a big spike and then a little spike. Um, we're actually, I don't care about multiple clicks right now. I just wanna be working with one. So this is gonna be your mouse press down and this other little bit is gonna be the sound of the click of your mouse releasing. Um, so we could go ahead and keep that here. And so what this means is we're gonna wanna try to line everything up. So around this initial press right here, we're going to want our like icon to reduce size. 
So I'm actually going to, at this point, mark the size with a keyframe. And then I'm gonna come in to right before the release and mark another keyframe. Only I'm going to reduce the size to 0.2. And then, and then on the timeline, reduce the image to end on this frame. I'm then gonna grab this like icon selected and bring it into the video two channel and slide it right up against the like icon non-selected. So if I actually click on the like icon non-selected, you'll see in our last status, the position and the zoom. So it's at 0.2 and then the X is at negative 361 and the Y is at negative 20. So I'm actually going to replicate that after I select the like icon. So I'll do 0.2, negative 361 and negative 0.2. Oop, just kidding, negative 20. Awesome. Now I'm just going to use the right arrow on my keyboard just to move in a frame. So it's a little bit a hair after the mouse release sound. And then I'm gonna come here and make mark a keyframe. And then I'm actually going to come back and mark another keyframe here. So now if I jump to the second keyframe, uh, which is to the right of the mouse release sound, I'm actually going to take the zoom back to 0.28. So now if we see what this looks like, that looks pretty good. I'm sure you could do some more refinement to make it super perfect, but at the same time, this is going to just be something added into a video, so I wouldn't worry about perfection too, too much, but you do you. So now we need the mouse to slide over to the subscribe and we're gonna repeat this entire process only with the subscribe button. So after that release, I would say probably eh, about here is when we will want the mouse to start to move. So I will mark this keyframe on the position. And then we'll say at the two second mark, we can mark that position and move the X axis to wherever we want it. So I'll move the mouse to about here. And then we could actually select this mouse click and do copy or control C if you're on Windows. Uh, I believe it's command C on Mac OS. And then with your timeline where you want it to be, control V or command V, and that will paste the sound effect. And so now we could mimic the same exact thing that we did before only with the subscribe so i will select right before this mouse click spike starts and go ahead and make sure subscribe is selected and for zoom mark a keyframe and then i will come in a frame or two uh yeah we'll we'll do it about here and then mark another zoom. And for this one, uh, we did like 0 0.08 before. We'll do 0 0.01, I suppose. So we'll, we'll drop it to 0 0.9. And then I will reduce the timeline to about here and grab the subscribed asset and drop that here. Now just be sure that we need to match the position, which is just position 601 on the X. So we can go ahead and do that. And then we know that our zoom right now is 0.9. So we can mark that. And while I'm here, I'm just going to mark a keyframe and then use the right arrow to come in to the mouse release sound. So right about here. And then I'll mark another keyframe on the zoom and bring this back to one. And let's see how that looks. And then somewhere around the three second mark, we could have the mouse start to slide down. So you could go ahead and mark the position on a keyframe and then just come to whenever you want. So even a second into four seconds and mark another keyframe and just move the position on the Y axis down for the mouse. 
Then what I'll do is just drag this out to the five second mark. And shrink all the assets down to five seconds. And so this is our final result. Awesome. So we could go ahead and export this beast. So to do that, you'll just come over to the deliver workflow. Uh, you could just mark it as YouTube. This will keep all your frame rates and everything the same. Uh, apparently I was at 24 frames, not 30 frames like I mentioned before, shame on me. So you could just name this whatever you want, like like and sub and save this in whatever location your heart desires and go ahead click add to render queue and render all wonderful and now you will have that animated asset all right so now i am in well actually the timeline of the video you're watching right now but it's clearly not done yet anywho I'm going to grab this like and subscribe asset that we just created and I'll bring it into the timeline like so. Now that it's on here, uh, naturally I just want this to kind of slide up from the bottom and then slide back down. Um, but this does not work. So we need to add in a mask. So what we're gonna do is on the timeline, make sure you have your like and subscribe asset selected. And then we're gonna come down to this fusion tab. We're gonna want to draw a box around what we actually want displayed. And to do this, we're gonna come over to this rectangle tool right here, and it's gonna create a rectangle mask. Uh, so if you come over to the inspector, you will be able to adjust the height and width. So we could increase the width, for example, and then go ahead and shift over the position. So I'll kind of center it. Um, I'm just going to do it by eye. So somewhere about here looks good. And for the height, we could actually go ahead and you could reduce this to whatever height that you want in whatever position that you want. For me, I think this looks good. So after you add that rectangle mask, that, that's all you really have to do. So you could actually create this corner radius. So if you want rounded corners, you could go ahead and do that. So let's do that. And we'll just leave it at 0.15 to give it a little bit of rounded corners. And then we'll come back to the edit workflow. Now, with the asset selected, you could move in position and adjust the zoom just like anything else. So I will actually bring this down to 0.7 and slide this position over and then drop this right about here. I also want it to slide in and slide down. So I'm gonna click on the effects toolbar and go to video transitions and scroll down to slide and drag that in the front and end of the clip. Then I'll go ahead and select my first one. And for this, I don't want it to take a second, I want to take uh, even less. So I'm actually just gonna say seven frames. We're at like seven frames, or we're at 30 frames a second on this timeline. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. Um, on both of these, then I need to zoom in more so I could select the effect. Um, and for this, I'm going to adjust the preset to slide in from the bottom up in the direction of N. That works. And we could do ease in and out as a little effect. And we could do the same thing here. Only for this, we want the direction to be out and we want to slide from the top down. So now if we come and just kind of wait for this to load a little bit and render now that everything is blue. This is what we got. Created this like and subscribe asset that I use rather than begging people for likes and subscriptions. There you go. Now you have your own like and subscribe asset and you know how to properly implement it into your project. Don't you dare forget to like and subscribe.